Hey tech lovers, welcome back to Gigabyte's official Motherboards and Bricks YouTube channel. My name is Leon and today we have another unboxing for you. We're going to be unboxing our Aorus Z270X Gaming 7. If you guys aren't familiar with the Aorus brand, it is the Aorus Gaming Series powered by Gigabyte. So you're going to see a lot of cool features from these motherboards. Let's look at the front of the box. You can see that we have RGB Fusion. We have Smart Fan 5, we have a Killer Nick on it, as well as Soundcore 3D, and this board is VR ready. If you guys are looking to do anything VR, if you guys want to be a VR pioneer, make sure you get an Aorus Gaming Series motherboard because it satisfies most of the conditions you have for virtual, virtual reality or augmented reality, so any type of VR that you want to do. As we look at the board, box, uh, the box as well, you can see this board has Thunderbolt. It's running the Intel Z270 chipset, which means it's an LGA 1151 socket that's backwards compatible with six generation CPUs from Intel. It also has an Intel Optane memory logo, which means that it's Optane memory ready, meaning when Intel pushes this technology out, you'll be able to utilize it and boost the performance of your PC. Let's flip the box around and you can see what other features that we talked about just now or if there's anything else. We talked about the lighting, RGB fusion. You can actually control the different patterns and lighting on the board. And we also have a mobile app that you can actually connect and look at your, look at your system while you actually make the configurations on your mobile device. It has, for the audio, a Soundcore 3D. Gigabyte's actually one of the first manufacturers to incorporate a quad-core audio chip directly onto the board. And for cooling, we have Smart Fan 5, which means it, this board has nine temperature sensors, which are actually interchangeable for each fan header. And it has eight hybrid fan headers. So, you can actually switch what each fan header is reading out from the different temperature sensors. For example, your System Fan 2 can actually read from your either your chipset or your CPU. Of course, the CPU is locked to the CPU. And as we move over, for connectivity, you have your killer NIC as well as an Intel Gigabit NIC. So you have two NICs available. And like we mentioned earlier, this board is already sporting the Thunderbolt 3 technology. So all you need is some external Thunderbolt 3 devices to get that transfer speed that you need for anything that you want transferred from your computer to an external Thunderbolt drive. We also support triple NVMe PCIe's if you want to max out on the bandwidth of your storage devices. And down here you'll see some of the more familiar technologies that you've seen from Gigabyte's ultra durable lineup. But one of the other ones I want to point out would be our USB DAC up 2. We've actually improved upon this technology by providing uh, adjustable voltage control. So gamers or VR pioneers, if you guys want to do anything, you want to make sure that your next generation PC has USB DAC up 2. It gives more power for VR headsets, gaming peripherals. Now keyboards and mice have all these different lighting effects on it. You want to make sure you're able to power it, as well as external hard drives that are more power hungry. All right, so now we looked at the whole, all of the box. Let's take all the peripherals out so you can see what comes inside, as well as you can get a better look at the board. All right, now that we have everything out of the box, you can see you have your usuals, you have your Aorus Gaming Motherboard user's manual, you have a multilingual installation guide. For those of you guys that aren't familiar with DIYing your own PC, we do have a guide online as well that gives you step-by-step -step directions. You also have a driver disk. Of course, if you're looking for the most updated drivers, be sure to check out the gigabyte.com or Aorus.com website. Look under your product page and you'll be able to find the most updated drivers available. We have two external thermistor sensors, so if you're looking to test out or actually get readouts from temperatures from other devices you connect onto your motherboard, you can do so as well. Whether you want to connect it to your graphics card or even an M.2, you will be able to test out what the temperature of those devices are. You have a rear padded I.O. Cable management tie, so you can actually tie up the cables inside or even outside of your your system very neatly so you can use this for your keyboard or mice or you can even use it for your LAN cables and other uh, display, uh, display cables. We also have RGBW pin headers and extension cable for those pin headers and this supports the RGBW or RGBUV depending on what you plan to install in your system. 
Next to this, we have two packs of SATA cables. Now these are SATA 3 cables, so that transfers at six gigabits per second. Each pack comes with two cables, one right angle, one straight cable, so that gives you a total of four. And you have these stickers that allow you to better label what these cables are for so you don't lose your devices inside your case. You also, we also give you one SLI bridge, you have a G connector, and this G connector allows you to neatly organize your front panel pin headers before you connect it to the, the inside of your system on the motherboard. You also have a, a case badge, which shows people what type of PC you're gaming on, and of course, HDMI and DisplayPort plugs to make sure dust doesn't get into them when you're using a dedicated graphics card. All right, let's get this out of the way and we'll get straight over to the board. All right, we got all the accessories out of the way. Again, this is the Gaming 7. As you can see on the box, right here you have your white IO shielding. Uh, this is for your white armor. You even have it on the audio portion. And this is all in white on a black PCB. And right here, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but we do have a translucent or transparent uh, area on this armor, even on the top, and it has a very cool effect when you're in uh, wave mode. And you can look at one of our other videos, our RGB Fusion, and it'll show you exactly what it looks like as the colors move down through the side of the board. Moving on to the, as we move towards the center, again, this is an LGA 1151 socket. It supports both seventh and sixth generation Intel Core processors. We have hybrid fan headers uh, around the board, a total of eight hybrid fan headers that users are able to use. And these hybrid fan headers are beneficial because they actually can switch automatically between voltage mode and PWM mode. So for DIY users that aren't very familiar with how to build your PC or what type of fans they have, this is definitely a feature to have. Not only that, these hybrid fan pin headers allow for water flow sensors. For users that are, want to deck out their PC with an open loop liquid cool setup, they can actually insert a water flow sensor into their liquid cooling system and have it test out the water flow of that system. As we move over, you can see that we do have diffusers in between the dim slots to give you more of that RGB look and it lights up more of the board and you, again, you can look at our RGB fusion introduction. We have quick buttons to power and test your system and also a quick button to overclock your system. If you guys aren't familiar with overclocking, this board has a turbo B clock on board to make it easy to overclock and we also have an easy to use guide already on our product page. So if you wanna look at the Gaming 7 product page, you can actually scroll down and you'll find our easy overclocking guide. As we move across, you can see we have an LED overlay. This accent LED overlay is actually interchangeable and you can actually change it to what type of overlay that suits your style. Uh, we'll be giving, uh, we'll be attending different events throughout the year and you can actually check out on our Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash gigabyte motherboards and we may be giving you different types of overlays or are doing it in raffles so definitely stop by if you see us at an event. We have some more fan headers here as well as two USB 3.0 headers. We do support that U.2 and we have another three fan headers here. So this is definitely one of the boards that can, you can use if you, you want to use if you want to keep your system as cool as possible. You can use as much fans as you want. As we move over, we have a debug LED code here. So we can actually use this to diagnose, diagnose uh, what's wrong with the system if there are any issues. And we have diagnostic LEDs right here at the bottom and it'll actually light up whether it's a VGA issue, a memory issue, or a CPU issue, or just a boot issue, and it'll easily help you define and categorize what the problem is. Moving across, we have an additional two more USB 2.0s, and right here we have our RGBW pin headers. These RGB pin headers are actually interchangeable, so you can switch between the different signalings through calibration. You can have it uh, set up as GRB or BGR or RGB, however you guys want to do it. But the more important thing is this pin header also supports W, which is white. So you get truer and more vibrant colors when you're using RGBW LED strips. It also supports RGB UV strips, which is great if you want to have a more retro look and you want that black light feel. You can actually install with uh, UV reactive cabling as well as UV reactive paint 
and liquid for liquid cooling systems. This board has two M.2 slots, so you can actually use the next generation form factor for storage, and you can have that faster throughput and faster speed. As we move up, this is the audio zone here that you, many of you guys are familiar with. And let's swing the board around to the rear I.O. so you can get a feel for what type of connectors we have available. We have the combo port for the PS2. We have the US, two USB DAC up 2 ports. And again, these are the ports that we were talking about when we were looking at the box. You can adjust your voltage so you don't have connection losses when you're connecting power-hungry external devices. For example, external hard drives that require more power to spin up or even VR headsets that have more functions that you need to power nowadays and also any type of gaming peripherals that have a plethora of RGB lights on it. You have your HDMI and your display port and we've included plugs in case you didn't want to use the integrated graphics. Two USB 3.0s, uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2 in Type C and USB 3.1 in Gen 2 in Type A. And this board, again, has the killer NIC as well as an Intel NIC on board. So we have two NICs depending on the type that you want to use. And of course, another USB 3.0 right here. And your audio jacks right at the bottom there. For any other information that you guys are looking for on the Z270X Gaming 7 from Aorus, be sure to check out our Aorus website or the Gigabyte website for more information. And if you guys want to win prizes, find some more LED overlays, be sure to like us on our Facebook page, that's facebook.com forward slash Gigabyte Motherboards. Thanks again for watching the official YouTube channel uh, of Gigabyte Motherboards and Bricks, and we hope to see you next time. See ya.